ChatGPT has made its mark and is definitely here to stay. A chatbot built off an incredible language model that gives mind-blowingly detailed responses and can write whole essays better and faster than most. Users are finding out just how overpowered this tool can be, with some getting better and better at maximising their results. If you're looking to get started with ChatGPT and want to get the most out of it every time, then I'll be going through the basics, outlining the importance of prompts and giving you some real-world examples that will hopefully inspire you to streamline some work of your own. Let's get started by heading to OpenAI's website and clicking here to try ChatGPT. There's a short sign up flow, but once done, we're straight through to the main dialogue page. We'll start with a simple hello. The AI wants to chat and that's fine. The conversations can be so entertaining and feel so real. It's often just fun to sit back and let it chat away. Even if we're just after advice, say we wanted to improve our sleep schedule, the AI will surprise you with the quality of conversation. If we do like what we see, we can ask it to give us lists of options and clarify specific points, all while still in a fairly conversational tone. But the AI is good at so many things and it would be a shame to limit ourselves here. There's a reason why some are predicting that ChatGPT and others like it are set to replace Google. Questions that we're put into Google can sometimes leave us jumping between Reddit posts for hours trying to find accurate answers. For example, requests for travel recommendations are great. No need to browse through hundreds of affiliate booking blogs if we're just after a quick but detailed answer. We can even get really personal and tell the AI about the current contents of our fridge and ask it to spin up some meal ideas with instructions. I honestly find that the real magic of ChatGPT is getting a response that feels tailored to us. This now leads on to a big part of getting the very most from your ChatGPT experience. Prompts. As we get into asking the AI to produce content for us, it's important to know that a prompt is really just a way to give ChatGPT everything it needs to know up front. No need to chat back and forth when the first message sent tells the AI everything it needs. Most of the time the responses will be great, but sometimes it feels a little off. It's missing details we wanted included, or it's in a slightly different tone and style. Fortunately, a well-written prompt will be able to get all that information across in a concise way and ahead of time. The best way to think about what we're trying to do is give the AI the who, what and how, or the persona, style, task and restrictions. First, the who. We want to give the AI some personality traits and writing style to adopt going forward. To do this, we use you are and your writing style is. Then for the what, we want to give it a task. We can do this with I will provide and you will produce where we can give the AI examples of content, outline specific talking points, and let the AI know what type of content we're actually after. Restrictions then allow us to limit or format the response early. If we want it short and sweet, or even bullet points, we add a simple request here. Now, what was a pretty large and unwieldy request makes a lot more sense. When it's broken down like this, it's easy to understand that each of these elements can be swapped and changed to create equally detailed responses on other topics too. Now that we've seen that given the right input, our output can get extremely creative, but we can go even further by giving it even more. If you want ChatGPT to sound more like you and its writing style to mimic yours, then we can give the AI entire passages of text we've written, asking it to use this as a foundation for its style. As a separate task, I think it's useful to get ChatGPT to analyse your writing. Ask it to describe your style using prompt keywords and get yourself a perfect description that you can now apply to all future writing prompts. Another powerful use for supplying ChatGPT with big blocks of text is getting it to provide us with an easy to understand summary. Then if we still don't understand, we can ask for it in headed bullet points and provide it in even simpler terms. Now that we're efficiently giving the AI all it needs, let's look at what it's giving back. As we just saw, we can provide it with text to break down, but actually the same could be done to ChatGPT's responses. If I'm low on time, I'll often get the AI to reword an answer in the simplest terms, or just outline and highlight the keywords. If we are happy with the content, but the length's off, that's easy too. We can just ask for it to be shorter. More extremely, we can get the content reworded altogether. In this example, we want to hire a marketing assistant. We got the job description provided to us, but now we want to format this response as an email to a colleague suggesting the new role. We can then use what is the same bit of content, but get it reworded so now it's an actual job listing. 
meaning one reply from ChatGPT can be turned into multiple separate but relevant bits of content. Using what we've learned so far, let's look at good examples of ChatGPT in action. Sometimes we may not know all our preferences ahead of time, and a powerful feature of ChatGPT is getting it to become the expert and ask us the most relevant questions up front. Let's use getting in shape for an example. We're pretty lazy, our diet is boring, and we don't know where to start. We ask for a standard fitness plan and it's not bad, but it's just not accurate enough. It's got some exercises I'm not liking the sound of and includes some food that I'm not keen on. We could go ahead and adapt this first version, but let's skip the guesswork instead. We'll ask the AI to take on a persona of an expert nutritionist and fitness coach. Then get it to ask us 10 questions that will give an expert everything they'd need to start a custom plan. Now that we've answered all the questions, the AI has a much better foundation for the plan it will create. The exercises are home-based and easier, the meals are nearly all food I'll enjoy, and it's laid out nice enough, but I will give it some follow-up changes to make. I'll get rid of fish altogether, get it to double up on meals so I can do less cooking, and I've asked for the exercises to be put under each day. Now this is looking a lot more manageable to me, and with the bonus of it producing a complete shopping list as well, I'm all set. Fitness plans are everywhere online, but getting something this unique so quickly is impressive. Now we're not all trying to get fit, but this theme of self-help is powerful. From breaking bad habits, to reducing anxiety, to doing something positive every day. Don't be scared to get deep and personal with the AI, as it never judges. Let's now look at how ChatGPT could be helping you get a job. Being honest, almost every step of the job seeking process can be helped with AI. We'll start by getting a rundown of the job we're after. Now we know the job details, we'll give the AI some extra information about us and get it to draft up a cover letter. We also don't have a CV, so let's just have a chat with the AI and go through our work history to populate a new one. Now we've landed the interview, it's time to prep. Let's get ChatGPT to run through a mock interview with us and ask us increasingly difficult questions and progressively use more intimidating language. Say that's all worked out and we've landed the job. We now have a personal email writer, note taker and document summarizer, meaning we can hit the ground running and impress our new colleagues with our efficiency. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know any questions you have in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.